The brain is made up of tiny nerve cells called neurons. These neurons have tiny branches that reach out and connect to other neurons to form a neural net. Each place where they connect is integrated into a thought or a memory. A neural net basically has to do with a group of neurons that are functioning together that have a particular type of function. Um, people have looked at these in terms of what have been called cognitive modules, so that there may be neural nets, uh, a group of nerve cells in, in either the same structure or across the brain that have certain functions that allow us to process information in a particular way. Now, the brain builds up all its concepts by the law of associative memory. For example, ideas, thoughts, and feelings are all constructed and interconnected in this neural net and all have a possible relationship with one another. The concept and the feeling of love, for instance, is stored in this vast neural net. But we build the concept of love from many other different ideas. Some people have love connected to disappointment. When they think about love, they experience the memory of pain, sorrow, anger, and even rage. Rage may be linked to hurt, which may be linked to a specific person, which then is connected back to love. Every observation can be looked upon as a quantum measurement. This quantum measurement produces memory. We always perceive something after reflection in the mirror of memory. It is this reflection in the mirror of memory that gives us that sense of I-ness, who I am. The brain does not know the difference between what it sees in its environment and what it remembers, because the same specific neural nets are then firing. We know physiologically that nerve cells that fire together wire together. If you practice something over and over again, those nerve cells have a long-term relationship. If you get angry on a daily basis, if you get frustrated on a daily basis, if you suffer on a daily basis, if you give reasons for the victimization in your life, you're rewiring and reintegrating that neural net on a daily basis, and that neural net now has a long-term relationship with all those other nerve cells called an identity. We also know that nerve cells that don't fire together no longer wire together. They lose their long-term relationship because every time we interrupt the thought process that produces a chemical response in the body, every time we interrupt it, those nerve cells that are connected to each other start breaking the long-term relationship. <laughs>